Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Um Mm-hmm. Oh boy. All right. Let's get back into it, huh? Oh, what's up, VGL? What's up, Beth? Sorry, just getting set up. I was actually running late today. What's up, Henshaw? You piece of shit. I love you, dude. All right. Let's get back in the dark cloud. Oh, I'm running behind. I had to go make a pickup today. A weird one. PlayStation. So VGL, I only got a chance to listen to a couple of those messages. I I've been busy. Uh, Monday morning, I got to ship a lot of stuff out every Monday morning. So uh, last night, I was just trying to spend some time with the wife. Oh, so we're gonna play be playing Dark Cloud again. Bill's favorite. And we're only to the second dungeon. But each village has a dungeon attached. And uh, just kind of take your time. This game's all about grinding, growing your weapons, because that's how you get stronger. So it's not a fast game. I don't even know what the speed run for it is, to be honest. All right, let me check my items, make sure I'm good to go. Uh, he needs a little water. Uh, make sure I got repair powders for my sword. I only have one, so I need to go grab some. And uh, yeah, so let's go do that real quick, and then we'll head back to the dungeon. Uh, there's not a store in this town yet. That'll be the wise owl shop. So we need to go to Naroon Village and go to the gaffer's buggy. Whoop, whoop. Because we set that store up already. Naroon Village is 100% complete. And when you complete Naroon Village, you get the... Uh, hold on. I have some breads. Like they have plenty of repair powders for my weapons. Um, let's go ahead and sell off the fishing uh, bait. Because I don't do a ton of fishing. That'll open up a couple spaces and give us plenty of money. That'll let me get one of these extra. And um, I need to sell something else too because I have $500. Uh, do I have escape powder? I don't. We need escape powder. Then you don't lose half your money. 
when you leave a dungeon. So that's it. We'll be headed to the dungeon now. Oh, gotta wait for the day to change. All right. Let's go to the other area. And we are going to the Wise Owl Forest. That's dungeon number two. Dun -na -na -na. And we'll be going to level six. Because it has a whole bunch of Atla. And maybe if I clear this level fast enough, we'll go to the backboard on this one and check it out. Uh, the Seven Dwarves, named after days of the week on this particular level. Awesome. Let's get that crystal early. Boy, it'd be awesome if we got the map early, too. Oh, shit. All right. So, my item storage is full. Uh, Chow can use some water. So, let's give her a water. That'll clear a spot out my inventory. Shit. Oh, and it's a mustache key. I'm going to need it up. All right. All right, we all rocking and rolling. A lot of Atla right here. Three in a row, huh? And when we leave back off this level, we'll start putting some things together for sure. Most important thing is the river to get the, the tree going, you know? We need to get water to the tr to the to tree ant. Um Ah. Guess I'll repair my weapon even though I don't really need to. I just need the inventory space. Wait a second. Um, there's zero wind on this sword, and fire is pretty weak, so let's swap that out. I didn't realize that my ABS was full and I could have already upgraded my sword. What a crock of shit. All right, now I need antidote because that asshole poisoned me. Can also use a bread. Three monsters, two Atla in this room. Let's get this Fleefy first.
All right. Mr. Moustache. He, oh. Holy shit. These guys just gave me the three keys off the level. Oh, shit. Oh, this sucks. I overfilled my bag. All right. There it is. VGL, you still there? I don't know. Need somebody to talk to. <laughs> Nobody watches my streams. I'm not fucking sketch, right? What up, brother? All right. All right, there's my map. Uh, there's only one more treasure chest on this level. I don't really need it. But there is a water fountain there, so I'm just going to go that way anyway, you know? Even though it's way out of the way. Hey, Beth. Um, I actually don't think I have any more antidote, so that poison's really going to fuck me up at this point. Um, let's see. Oh, I do have an antidote. Nice. But I do need bread. Oh, that room has a water fountain. That'll fill me all the way up. So let's go get that real quick. What up, Matt? Uh, let's go to the backboard on this one. I'm going to go check it out real quick. Have I played Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing is not really my jam. Um, it's not a bad game. I don't know. Probably Animal Crossing, if I gave it a try, I would like it. We need the sundew. Oh, there it is. Mm. 
no guest streamer today. No, you know, sometimes. Why, do you want to be a guest streamer? You want to hop on? I'll send you the link. <laughs> Oh, soap. Somebody trying to tell me my ass stank. So. Really, I'm here just to get the treasure chest. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. I just want all these treasure chests. Come on, Ruby. I'm, I want a Ruby off this board for my sword. Mimic Breaker. Nice. A Mimic Breaker. Oh, Topaz is a good one. Topaz is probably, it's one of the precious gems. It's probably going to be the uh, big win on this back level. You always get one thing that's better than everything else. Oh, shit. A, Turk, a Topaz and a Sapphire. I'll show you what those do in just a minute. Oh, man, I didn't realize how much XP these pieces of shit give me on this level. I might kill them all. Oh, I passed up my turn. That's dumb. Like, I was on the way where I need to go, and I left money on the ground. That's dumb, too. Hey, uh, yeah, I do get those. And I can actually. Give my money back, you fucking bastard. He stole 90 bucks. Um, yeah, I do get the emeralds and the whites. I can get those for you. And yes, I definitely have an orange right now. Damn, I'm almost dead. Do I have cheese? I'd like a piece of cheese. Yep. Oh, Ruby! What a... <coughs> Fuck yeah! Let's get this last treasure chest. I'm going to show you guys what these motherfuckers do. Wow, got the Ruby. It's my favorite of the precious gem attachments. Wow. Been waiting on that. First ruby of this game. And the power up powder. Straight killing it. Uh,
So, Matt, the truth is, man, uh, it depends. If I get them at a good price, I can give them to you at a good price. That's just how I usually do it. I'll check it out and see what I can do. All right, let's do these sword attachments. Oh, so, so you see the speed goes up to 80, but we have a doubler here. It'll max out my speed. Put that fire up to 16 or 26. And Mimic Breaker all the way up to 23. So. That's the Turquoise. And it's going to put my. Uh, Stone Buster. Up to 19. And Mimic Breaker up to 33. Nothing on there. But it's going to add. Four, uh, 10 to. Ice. So let's see what the topaz does. It's going to give us a, a five point attack bonus. Nothing on there. But it's going to give us 10 on undead and 10 on sky. So this is a hell of an upgrade right here. This sword is way more powerful than it was before. And we have plenty of stones to help it grow. So my speed's at max. We want the endurance to go up. Because that just makes it where the sword doesn't break as easily. And uh, we could use wind more than anything out of those. And I, oh, there's a beast, I believe. That's a dragon. And we have a zero on dragon right now. That'll give us three. So, looking good. So, what we're going to do is we're actually... See, it fucked up my sword. So, we're going to leave this board and come right back to it and kill those guys again because they have a lot of XP. If we do that once or twice, we should be able to go ahead and upgrade this sword again. Yes. Okay, once you upgrade with the gems on it, then they are permanently a part of that sword. But until then, you can swap them out. However, here's a neat little trick I've been talking about. So every time you upgrade the sword, those slots open up. So now I have new slots that are empty because I made those a part of my sword when I upgraded to the plus eight. Um, and da, 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 da. anytime your sword is above a plus five, you can status break that weapon. I can't fight him. Shit, I'm just going to have to take the boat and come back. He's got me hemmed up. I can't hit him because my sword button is the same button as the action button right there. Anyway, so after your weapon becomes a plus five, you can status break it into a stone itself 
and put 70% of that weapon's abilities onto a new weapon. This game is all about the weapons. All right, I got to get off this dock fast so I don't get stuck like that again. Oh, I'm running low on food. Yep, and I have no antidote. Yep, I got to leave. So, we're going to book it on out of here. And hopefully I got enough juice to make it to the exit. Shit, I got a ways to make it, and I'm poisoned. All right, let's hope I can do it, guys. All right. Um, Matt, I've been watching, uh, fall out with my wife. I think we're most of the way through. I got to go resupply. Um, but yeah, I've been watching fall out. We're most of the way through. It's really good. Uh, maybe we could put the store in here. Let's check that out. Do I have the store? Yes. And I have the owl. So, let's give him his torch. Mr. Mustache is the owl. This is the ramp. Yep, there we go. We're good to go. We're going to go ahead and drop this store. That's the Baron. There he is. So let's drop the store here so we don't have to leave town anymore. I don't like to put my store... Here. There we go. All right. Now I can buy things here. Yeah, Halo was a disappointment. Oh, another gourd. Nice. A roof at the top and a sign. Okay. So, let's go back outside. Uh, no, every town has a store. 
and all the parts to the town are stored in the dungeons in those Atla balls. So, like, I think I have everything I need for him. Yeah. And now... And now I get a mini event for this guy. But each town has a store and they every every town store carries different items. Some of the same, your basics, like food and water, but like the first town's going to carry bread, he should carry cheese because it's a little stronger. The wise owl sword. Oh, that's a lot of money. Uh, I could probably buy it. I'm not gonna. Not right now. Get it later. Yeah, he's got he got that cheese. So and he has better water also. Uh we're gonna need an antidote. Uh-oh, I need more money. The best way to get money is sell fishing lures, and I don't have any. Uh, what will you give me for a blizzard gem? 50 bucks. Wind gem. 50 bucks. Throbbing cherry. 50 bucks. Nice, 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 nice. Now I have plenty of money. Uh... Okay, I have twelve dollars left, and I don't think there's anything you can buy for twelve dollars. So that's gonna be it for now. We can go back to the dungeon. Uh, let's put down some of the river. The we need to get the river in this town all the way over to the tree. And so you just have to keep getting river pieces, right? Oh, I'm out of river pieces already. So I got to go back to the dungeon and get more river pieces. Actually. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. Let's do a save, and then we're going to go back to the dungeon. Uh, I got to pee. Yes, the final boss is the Dark Genie. He's the one that put everything in the orbs. Each dungeon has a final boss, too. Um, this game actually has really good story to it. It has good lore. The Ice Queen story is really, really good.
pick it up. Hey, Matt, you have this game. You have this game. Um, <laughs> no, it's a dark genie, not a dark wizard. Not like Ganon. <laughs> Actually, he's a big fat dude. Da -na -na. Bambuku's house. In each town, you also pick up a new companion. So in the first town, I picked up Chow, the cat girl with the slingshot. Um, in this town, I pick up the kid Goro, who's like a little cave boy. He's awesome. He also gets one of my favorite weapons in the game, which he uses big hammers. Um, and mallets and stuff like that, but, uh, your river pieces, but he has one weapon that I really like, and it's a frozen tuna that he uses like a hammer and you can beat people to death with it. So that's always a treat for Bill and child. The cat girl has my favorite weapon, which is, a slingshot that talks to you the whole time and talks shit. Its name is Steve. Ah, Steve. Alright, I gotta make sure I have my poison medallion on. I think I have one. No, but it's an anti-curse and an anti-freeze shit. Is there an invincible chicken in this game? <laughs> mm, no invincible chicken. You can, uh, just like you can get bread and cheese, you can also get premium chicken to eat. And that restores a good bit of life. More than bread or cheese. Oh, that's where I came in. Now only the cat girl can jump this. This is going to be the mustache key that'll get me into that locked area. Nope, that's the... Oh, no, there's another room over here. Hey, homie.
is a Vita Mustache key. There it is. All right. There's an Atla back here. But there's nothing in the mustache room. I don't think. I think it would be a waste of time to go there. I don't think anything's in it. Let's uh, heal both my characters up. Sometimes there's two waterfalls or wells on each level, and sometimes there's none. I actually don't think there's anything in that room, so we're just going to leave. Not the shiny stone. What's a good average playtime to get through this whole game? 50 hours. 40 to 50 hours. You can do it in less... But it's harder if you do it in less. Uh, you'll be struggling with your weapons the whole time. Uh, if you take the time to grind, it's worth it. Because it makes the game, uh, you get through enemies easier. And some of the enemies are already really challenging without being too strong. All right, guys, y'all going to excuse me for five minutes while I go take a leak, and then I'll be back. Good. Got some river. All right. I'll be back in five minutes.
Back, back. Guess who's back? Bill's back. All right. Sorry about that. Get that king prickly. So let me show you what I was talking about, Matt, with the swords. So I have a Chris Knife plus nine right now. Yeah. So you can also overgrind in this game by accident. And I've done it before where I beat the Dark Genie in one hit. And uh, it was thoroughly disappointing. But uh, so repair, upgrade, that'll take me to a Chris Knight point uh, plus 10. Status break will allow me to break this into a gem and put it on another weapon and build up. So it can turn into these two swords, but I don't know what they are yet because my stats aren't high enough. But if you click on it, so my magic has to go up some, right? I have to bring the wind up in order for that. And that's it. So for this one, I would need uh, wind and magic to go up a little. For this sword, um, I would need wind, metal, and mage. So, you can eventually turn them into other swords. Uh, the absolute best sword in the game, you cannot get until you, after you beat the game. You can go back to the dungeons as many times as you want. The final dungeon... After you beat the Dark Genie, it opens another dungeon, and it's called the Demon Shaft. And where most of the dungeons are like uh, 10 to 13 levels, maybe 15, the Demon Shaft is 99 levels. And at the end of it, you get a sword called the Dark Chronicle 2, and it's, it's pretty badass. You can get the Chronicle. Uh, most people think the Seventh Heaven is the best game, the best sword in the game. And it's one of the best. But the Dark Dark Chronicle 2 is the best sword, and you only get that by completing the Demon Shaft. So let's switch to her so she can take out these guys. Because they like to swing around. Now, when they're up in the air, you can't do them any damage. I'm just out of his range. Got him. All right. Yeah, that 99, the demon shaft ain't no fucking joke, man. It really ain't. I tried to go all, all the way through it one time uh, without coming out of it, and I couldn't do it. Uh, I had to come out twice. To resupply. Because you'll run into levels that make you run out of water really fast and stuff like that. Uh-oh. He actually killed me just now. You see my in my little thing on the top? The bag is gone. The black bag with the cross. That's a revival powder. And it'll bring you back to life if you accidentally get killed. Kind of like a fairy in a jar on Zelda. Except you could buy these. Bandit slingshot. Bandits are good because they steal money. Uh, I don't have a strong one yet. So let actually, let's start working on that. The best way, when you get a new weapon... And it's really weak. Um, actually, it's stronger than my wooden sling shot plus seven. Uh, when you get a new weapon and it's really weak, it, the best thing to do is go back to the beginning of the dungeon. And keep working the first couple levels over and over until you get it strong enough. Now, the bandit slingshot will also steal money from the monsters. Oh, yeah, that's way stronger than the plus seven. Wow. 
Oh, look, a revival powder. I use my... And let's get everybody's energy back up since there's a well here. In the first level, it's water... In the first dungeon, it's waterfalls. But on this one, it's wells. All right. The big treasure chests like that almost always have a weapon in it. And sometimes they're unlocked with traps. Got a switch because she cannot open the Atla. But I try to... Uh, some of the characters I like a lot more than others. I like Ruby a lot. She's a genie chick. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Uh oh. And there's my magic crystal. There's a bunch of Atla this way. Stamina. Here's a little trick for you. If, uh, oh shit, there's a hornet. So, nice little trick for you. If you're out of antidote, you said crafting started in this game or the second one. The crafting started in the second one. Um, so, if you're out of antidote drink and you're poisoned, take a stamina drink, which makes you more durable. And by the time the stamina drink wears off, so will the poison. Just a neat little tip, uh, an alternate way of getting out of being poisoned. Wait, there it is. Also, in order to get, the water doesn't just run in the river. That would be nice, but it doesn't. You have to put in uh, the, what you call it, uh, the water wheels. Shit. Bags full. So let's repair my weapon. That'll open up a single slot. For water. And I can't open this chest unless I use something. So, what item can I use? He doesn't need anything. She can use some cheese, that's for sure. And she can use water also. So, let's give her a regular water because she only needs a drop and a half. We're good. Actually, um, let's give her a gourd. I don't think I can give him another gourd. We're going to find out. I think he's maxed out. No? Okay. All right. Shit. Chisel. Yeah, I know a ton of little tips and tricks about this game. I've played it so many times. There's a weapons cheat also, but I don't use it. It'll max out any weapon you have.
See? And she'll steal stuff from them, not just money. She stole the witch's poison apple. She stole an antidote. Oh, level up powder. Power up powders allow you to level up your weapon without macking, maxing them out. Yes. It's a, it's a broken dagger attachment. And you can get it from the gaffer. I've only used it once ever just to try it. Um... I don't, I don't feel the need to do that. I'm a grinder, so I'm going to, you know, I'm going to play it anyway. I could just keep going back to him and max out all my weapons and, I don't know, not really my jam. Yeah, I like the bandit. Steal all kinds of shit. And that's less stuff you have to buy, right? Oh, now I get the map. Now that I've been in every room in this dungeon and I don't need it. Let's get out of here. Let's see what we want. Shiny rock? No. Any good Easter eggs? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of any right offhand. I really want to build up this bandit slingshot a bit. Oh, I can't go any further. See this stump? You need the new character in your party for that. So we have to go do a little building. And uh, we should have enough river and windmill to get water to the tree, who's going to send me to get Goro and add him to my party. So let's do that. Um, let's do that. One more piece. That should be all the river. Apparently, I have more river. I don't. Yeah. There it goes. The river is connected. But I need the windmill to open the gate. Or is he? Are they going to open the gate? That storm. Like a dev hiding their name in the level. Um. I don't even know about that. I'd have to look into that. I wouldn't be surprised if this has a nice little Easter egg or two because this uh, level five became a pretty uh, talented studio and this was like their first major game. So, uh, oh, look, I have a treasure right there, right there. I see him in the cutscene. That I didn't get them yet. What? That's awesome. So there's one right here. Look. Get that bread. And there's one over here. Right? Fluffy donut. That's going to bring up my attack. Now let's go to the tree. Let's go to that stump now that he's got some juice. Right? 
Let's see what's up with him now. He probably got some shit to say now. He got some water in an old dried out husk. Da, 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 da. Um, I don't think I have an item to use. Uh, oh, shit. Gourd. Shit. All right. Let's use some stuff. Um, let's put the next gourd on Chow. She needs to be able to hold a little more water. I actually like the music to this game. All right. I'm going to have to sell off some of those antidotes. I have too many. Fruit of Eden. Beast Buster. All right. So... Let's uh use that fruit of Eden that will raise my attack. Oh, uh, yeah. My health to 110. Nice. All right. Now let's leave out of here. Let's go to Goro's house. <clears throat> uh Matt, can you actually hear the music to this or no? Can you hear the game at all? I've been having a decent amount of trouble with that. So Goro lives here. And I'm going to have to duel him to get him to join my party. The problem is, again, I'm using a Xbox controller. And what's going to show up on the screen is actually uh, PlayStation controls. So... We'll see how that goes. I might have to duel him two or three times because my buttons don't match up and it gets a little confusing. Yes. Yes. Chrono Car Guy. Can you hear the... Uh, can you hear the game? Like, can you hear the music right now? It's like... Dun -dun 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 -dun. Triangle, square, circle, X. All right. Here we go. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to have to do this a couple times. Nope. Already messed up. Let's do it again. I can't remember if I have to leave out his area or not. Yeah. Oh, Brad. Oh, dude. I got confused and I kept calling you Matt. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Ah. There's that chicken. Dude, I get confused with people's screen names. Wait, didn't I just get another gourd? Yeah, let me give that to Chow. Nice. Shit. 
So, uh, I don't think I can give her Fruit of Eden. I'll try it. Yeah, you can. Uh, man, I'm feeling dumb as shit at this point. Just having one of those days, Brad. Sorry, bud. <laughs> you can you can put any name you want on any on any of the people in your party in this game. Yeah, I got to leave his area and come right back so I can fight him again. That's a pain in the ass. But I can't progress in the game until I get him in my party because I need his hammer. Oh, if you could put a nickname in the in the chat, you would. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's hope I get it this time. Are you fucking shitting me? I hit it dead on. Great. Oh, this is going to take forever. All right. All right, let's do it again. Just ah, uh, it'd be so much easier if I had like a if I was using the PS4 controller because these buttons don't correspond to PS4 buttons. So these duels are extra rough on me. All right. Dude, I pressed down at the right... Let me see something. Nope, that's USB-C. I have a PS4 controller here, but it's not charged up. Um, so yeah, he's not a boss. You can get, there's a, um, midpoint to each level where you have to do one of these duels, but yes, you have to hit the buttons at the right time. And, uh, yeah, it is Parappa the Rapper style, rhythm game style. Um, and it makes it extra difficult that I'm using the Xbox controller. Because I'm playing this on the uh, Retro Lizard XL. No.
Um, I prefer the Xbox controller now that I've gotten used to it in play style. I know what I can do. Um, item. I'm going to go to the store and sell off some stuff. Let's sell off some of my extra stuff at the store real quick. Oh, I can't even take that box. Or that one. All right, let's sell off some extras. What do we got? Antidotes. I don't care if I get cursed, because the curse is almost always you can't change weapons. And who cares? Oh, dude, I love the Duke. You know that, uh, who is it, Retro Fighters or Retro Bit? One of them made a wireless Duke for the OG Xbox. And see, it was a gourd. It was something good, too. Uh, let's get this fucking water mill working. Am I right? There it is. She's a working now. Then it might be another box inside. We'll see. See the wheel turning? Nice, nice. Why would I lie to you, Brad? I don't have any reason to lie. Nope. And a pail. Alright. Oh shit. Look it. Look it. Fire gem. Dun, dun, dun. Alright. Let's go check out the well. There it is. There's probably a treasure chest or two upstairs. No? I got nothing. I guess like the windmills in the first village, they don't really give you anything. That's okay. We'll put some more stuff together. Um, so, I do remember... I like to take a mound of earth. One of the big ones. Put it over here. Over here. No? Where does it go? Dude, really? I remember it. 
I'm going to have to adjust the water. That's what I got to do. I got to adjust the river. So we're going to cut the river. There we go. <coughs> now, to put that mound of earth there, and we're going to put the mushroom on top of it, mushroom house. And why didn't I put the mushroom house together first? That was dumb. <clears throat> All right. Let's put his house together because I'm pretty sure we got everything to do that. Torch, sign, cheerful wife, cheerful husband. Okay. I don't guess we have him yet. So. Oh, wait. Let's spin that camera a little bit. All right, I must be crazy. I could have swore I saw a treasure chest here. A little chest, a little chesty chesty, but I guess not. Was that, la that ladder wasn't there last time we were in here, right? All right, well, that seemed overall pretty useless. Let's put together another house. Oh, shit, she's right there. Now she's gone. What a crock of shit. Is she inside? No. There she is. What do you need for your house? They want a second floor. Um, I don't think we have one. We do not. We do not. So we're going to put something else together. Let's put the Baron's house together.
Uh, let's see. He needs a torch and a sign and a stick. He needs this stick for some reason. And the Baron. Well, let's go check him out. His weirdo house. Here. Yeah. Do a little lap here. Power up powder nice. That's why we do a lap. Ah, get to the door. All right. Dun -dun. What do you need for your house? He needs a roof. So, let's go put his roof on. Yeah, building the houses are a form of crafting. And everybody has requests. And if you put all the village together exactly like they want it, you get something special. I mean, it's not something you have to do. Oh, here's a gift. Don't be a sucky gift. A gourd. Okay, that's a decent gift. All right, let's put together another house. Uh, Bambukus. Well, we know he's going to need stairs and a sign, and we have those. Big boy, kind to his sister. Where's the Snow White mat? So she is. So now we're going to arrange their house. Let's go. Oh, look, right there on the porch. We're still waiting for Bill. Up, oh, let's talk to him real quick. I don't think I have an upstairs cabin, homie. Oh, wait, you just gonna let me go in the house at night with your little sister in there? Yikes, bro. Fam.
get that cheese. Am I right? Gross. Yeah, it is gross. That dude should be more protective. I'm saying. He's a big brother. Act like it, man. Protect your little sister. Don't let strangers in there at night. You don't know him. Get your act together, Bumbuku. I like the way those stairs are built. With the one beam through the center. I do have a candy. Remember I was holding the candy from the first dungeon? So this is part of an ongoing like trade quest thing. Now you literally just gave your sister candy from a stranger. This dude. He's really got to get it together. All right. Torch. Sign. You can't get up to their house yet until you put the stairs on. And laundry. And that's the menstrual. Oh. See, now the stairs are on. Ooh, there's a little chest everywhere. Mage Slayer. Yeah, unreal that guy. Bumbuku. What a disappointment he's turning out to be. Jesus Christ. Bumbuku sounds like a, a Bruce Springsteen song with the crap he's pulling, you know? All right, let's use some items. And multiple gourds. Give one to him. We'll give one to Chow, right? Um, wait, no, there's a button that lets you look around inside. There we go. All right, where is this dude? He must be outside. Let's go find him.
Mm, do you see a blue arrow anywhere? That would indicate a person. There he is. All right. He wants uh, extra room. Let's see if we have one. We do. Now let's go see what he gives us. Sure, I'll listen to the song of the legendary hunter. <clears throat> Can you play it again like another half dozen times? Those dudes, yappy. Um, odd tone flute looks a whole lot like an ocarina. <clears throat> so, Yep, homie just gave me an ocarina. <laughs> Wait, didn't we already give some money laundry? Remember when that, <laughs> yes, it is magical. You need it to summon the killer snake to fight him. Give me a fucking ocarina. Uh, 
I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to throw something away. Let's throw a $10 bottle of water away. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it, worth it. Uh, all right, I'm about to wrap it for the day. I'm going to save here. And then I'm going to be done. I have some things I got to go do. I'll be back tomorrow at the same bat time on the same bat channel. For part seven, what is this, six? So, Brad, Tabby, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a great afternoon. I'll still be online. Y'all can message me. All right. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it.